Hello and welcome to the Institute of Directors Influence newsletter for the month of May. The main event recently has been the government's own publication of their legislative priorities for the year in the Queen's speech. There was much here that will be welcome to IOD members. Uh, for example, a commitment to finally get rid of uh, the old paper-based system for filing legal documents when engaging in international trade. Uh, they can now be uh, electronic after the relevant legislation is enacted. Also, uh, ways of opening up the public procurement system uh, for smaller businesses to access uh, government contracts and uh, reforming Companies House to, to prevent abuse of the system as part of a wider package of reforms to address economic crime. Wasn't all good though, we were disappointed that long-awaited reforms uh, to the audit profession, uh, where there was no commitment uh, to legislate there, but they are at least publishing uh, the bill uh, in draft form so that we can engage on the detail uh, in the months ahead and we will continue to do that. For our own part, we have recently published uh, proposals uh, to incentivize firms to engage sort of fully and square on with the net zero agenda by rewarding net zero firms with a lower corporation tax. As ever, we're very keen to hear your feedback and hope you enjoy reading the newsletter this month.